So as a project worker and trainer at Leap Confronting Conflict, every day I have to meet young people for the first time, get to understand who they are as a human being first, and where they've come from in terms of their history, in terms of their past conflict, things that they want to continue to face, things they want to change. And then as the course goes on, once they're in the space, I find that there's a transformation, there's progression, there is a kind of light bulb moment for them where they start to really take in the content of the course, where they start to have that kind of turning point and something in the model or the exercises or the games really speaks to them and their conflict. And that's when I really enjoy the work that I do is because when I see them really benefiting from that, that's when they have the alternative options and the choices and decisions that they can make. And from that, they can now have a better life or a better outcome. And from that, again, they have all these opportunities at play. So once we start working with them on the possible, I don't know, the possible opportunity they can have after a course is done, and I can see their progression over time, it becomes a beautiful thing you start seeing the confidence, you start seeing the um, autonomy, the independence, the way they can express themselves and articulate themselves and the things that concern them and the, the, you know, the things that are actually happening to them, but it's not letting them weigh them down and they can rise above it. So at LEAP Confronting Conflict, we've had over 30 years experience of specialist training within conflict management. We work with 11 to 25 year old young people within the care sector, within the community, education, exclusion and also in the prison sector. But we also challenge and train adults, adult professionals and prisoners who can see that conflict is inevitable but we also manage it in a healthy way and give a better response and outcome once they've done the training. We need to actually all fight for the same cause. And we're all doing it, but we're all too segregated to do that. Um, and especially with a community where you have your local neighbour and nobody knows their name, nobody knows what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. We need to start communicating more. We need to start looking out for each other's children um, to all play a role. Even just saying something to someone, saying hello can make a difference in someone's day. Um, and I think that that community spirit's gone. Um, we kind of look towards the government and the police as the hierarchy, as the, you know, the all-time solution. But we need to come together. We're all capable of changing someone's life and bringing that change.